is up and good morning. Get you guys adjusted a little bit here. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of Coglins or not. They make a bunch of camping and emergency type stuff. Uh, lots of camping stuff. I have some of their other stuff. I have some of their camp soap and I think a couple of my head net, dug net things are from them. They may all be from them. Um, but they have a bunch of different stuff. So one stove, stove that I don't have or did not have was the little flip up. I forget what they call those. Esbit, whatever. It takes the little fuel canisters or you can use like a Trangia on some of them. Uh, in a pinch, you could do a twig stove out of them. Uh, I did not have one of those, and I am all about cook sets and emergency cooking. And you know, if you're in an all electric place like I am, and the power is out for an extended period of time, you know, and if you're going to be out on trail or whatever, you know, there's just so many uses for cook sets. We got to eat, right? You got to purify water in some instances. So, while surfing around the Amazons, uh, came across this. This is the Coglins Emergency Stove. Light, strong, compact, no liquid, no priming, no wicks, no pressure. Includes 24 fuel tabs. Now, I will not be lighting any of the fuel tabs in here, but uh, maybe in an upcoming video, we'll do a few little lights and see how things you know, work. Because I'm really curious to see how much heat these little fuel tabs actually put off for like boiling water. Boiling water is kind of the gold standard for testing these things. I'm just going to read a little bit of the information here. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But it uh, accommodates most camp cookware by adjusting the stove in two open positions. Folds down to 4.625 inches by 3.75 inches by 1 inch for compact storage in backpack or glove compartment. I never really thought about that. Glove compartment. Stand on level, non-flammable surface when in use, hence my little mat that I made. See the other video for that. Burns Coglin's number 9565 fuel or other solid fuels, i.e. hexamine, trioxane, or sterno. Let's take a look at this thing, shall we? I have not opened it. Uh, supposedly... Let me see if it actually says on here. It doesn't look like hexamine is something I would want to use in this thing. There's a little warning on here. Well, I think on the Amazon listing it actually said, but I do not see it actually listed on here. But I want to say it said that this is stainless steel, which is why I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, let's see if we can... I don't know if we'll be able to do this or not, but we're going to try. Oh, yeah, that worked out pretty decently. Let's, let's do this. There we go. Kind of. Opens up like that. Here's your little fuel tabs. So you have, this is full open position here, and then you can kick it down and it kind of snaps into place right there. It's not really level like that, but I guess once you set a pan on it, it would be. And then kind of bridges that gap a little bit so you can burn something else. You guys have all seen these before. Um, the metal seems to be, it's, it's not bad. It's riveted construction. You guys can see these right here. That's how you adjust it. And then you can close it all up and it's of small size. I don't know what their fuel tabs are made out of, but I know there are plenty of fuel tabs on the market for these. I'm going to make a little case. It's got a lot of machine oil on it. I'm going to clean all that off, but it is vented on the bottom. wipe my hands off a little bit here because there is a lot of oil on this thing. All right, let's get you guys back up here. Hey, there you are. So 
my thoughts are kind of exactly what this is marketed for an emergency stove all that machine oil that's to be expected though that's no knock against them so let me reach behind you here so that's basically my plan for this is to use it as an emergency stove I wouldn't want to use this on a big hike or camping trip or anything I don't know I mean it may hold up just fine I don't know but that's now granted just for comparison's sake here this is my jet boil this is this little emergency stove it will literally fit in the pouch of my jet boil kit so way smaller but again emergency stove so so right there so that's my thought just a nice little emergency stove to have just in case you need to you know boil some water or make a quick uh, just add water type meal so on so forth yeah I guess with a large enough pan a sterno would fit under there I've seen videos I've never used the sterno canister so I really don't know but uh, I've seen videos where people say the sterno stoves don't really get hot enough to to really boil water effectively uh, that these these fuel tabs are the way to go if you're gonna be using one of these yeah I'm sure we'll go out somewhere and give this thing a burn in and see how it does yeah anyway I just thought I'd share that it's a neat little stove this thing was very inexpensive um, there it is uh, let's see what the going price because you know Amazon's prices vary that's what I thought it was $11 for 11 bucks I will make a little pouch and I will probably keep it in this box with the fuel tabs and just have a little pouch that this is just ready to rock in at all times I may slide you know like a thing of strike anywhere matches or something down in there have a nice little kit so anyway just wanted to share that with everybody. Till next time, take care.